Hey, Shalom, Shalom, I'm All right, this is the brother Atazawam coming back in the spirit with another lesson. And the uh, Lord willing, I do hope and pray that it's edifying. Of course, before I begin this lesson, I want to give all praises, all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Also, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And as always, peace, love, many blessings unto the elect of Israel scattered around the four corners of the earth who is given all diligence to make their calling of election sure. I write to you, I say Shalom and salute. Okay, um, this lesson is going to be a response to the elder Mawatazak uh, video, which he did last night, which was a very um, good video, um, in my opinion, you know, very edifying. And, um, you know, he did this video uh, as a response to Apostle Gabar's video concerning King David. And, um, you know, there are plenty of examples in the scriptures um, where the Lord used other men to raise up people from the dead. This is not something that is um, far fetched. OK, this is something that is documented. OK, and even when you go deeper into the Roman history, OK, the Roman history uh, speaks of Yahweh uh, being on the scene and being resurrected on the third day. And it also is documented that there were people that came out of the graves. So even outside of biblical history or biblical documentation, if you go into Roman history, OK, it's recorded in Roman history that when Yahweh um, became that sacrifice, that people uh, actually rose from the grave. OK, and came back into, you know, society. So it's something that is revealed unto you by faith. OK, and because the Lord didn't impose that spirit of faith uh, upon certain of these individuals out here, they're filled with doubt. OK, but they try to disguise their doubt with having a quote unquote working knowledge. But that working knowledge is only to debunk, you know, the spirit that's dealing. OK, because you doubt you doubt the power of the Lord. And ultimately, you know, it's going to cost you your salvation because we coming into times where the Lord is about to do miraculous works in the earth. OK, the Lord is about to do miraculous things, man. OK. Prior to the judgment, prior to America being destroyed, the Lord is going to perform miracles. And I believe, as the apostles and the rest of the other brothers believe, that the Lord is going to raise unto us a, a, a king. Okay, King David. All right? And that's just, that's just our faith. Okay? So I'm going to play a little bit of this video, and then I'm going to get into some scriptures. Play just, just a little bit of what Apostle Gabar says real quick. And he raised up the boy from the grave. Did he not do that? Is, is, is there not examples of... Men being raised up from the grave? Is there not examples of men being raised up from the grave? And that's how we know, you know, through the spirit. A lot of, a lot, like Apostle Gabar said in the video, a lot of you just, you just, you so carnal, you don't even believe. You know, you think you believe, but you truly don't. Because when meat comes up, you know, that demon that's on you gets you to, get you to quenching and, 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 and and squealing and you got to just type something you know you see that which is that's nothing but doubt okay now basically that doubt puts limitations on the power of Yahweh Bashim Shah in your own mind of course because you can't stop the power of the Lord okay but in your own mind you put limitations and you put Yahweh Bashim Shah in a box because your mind is not is not open to the power of the Lord. Okay? But the Lord is going to actually show, okay, the world certain things. Okay? Where it's not it's going to be undeniable. Okay? It's going to be undeniable things that's getting ready to happen in the spirit. Now certain things are going to be revealed in the spirit, and only spiritual men are, are going to be able to see it. But the Lord is actually going to do worldwide miraculous things also where the world is going to be flabbergasted. Okay? Because when you go into um, the, uh, when Yahweh Shai asked Peter, he said, uh, Peter, son of Barjona, who said I am? Who, who does thou say I am? OK. And Peter said, thou art the son of man. And he said, flesh and blood have not revealed that unto you, but my father in heaven have revealed it to you. So certain things are revealed to the men of the Lord through faith. OK, so if you can't see 
okay, or believe that 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 King Masha is King David, then that's that hasn't been revealed unto you by faith. Now, me personally, I don't know King Masha. I have never met King Masha, but through the testimony of the apostles and seeing their um their their, their, their spirit light up when they talk about King Masha, it shows that they have a level of faith in him being the king. And the apostles haven't stirred us wrong thus far. Okay? Now, if you can receive it, good. If you can't, then, you know, if you're a man of the Lord, the Lord will re reveal it. Because certain things wasn't revealed unto Thomas until, you know, certain certain things had to go down. Which is why he has the surname, uh, Doubting Thomas. Okay? And that doubt is what restricts you being able to see the full power of Yahweh Basham was shot. So, let's get some scriptures. All right? Matter of fact, I don't want to go there. I'm going to go to Psalm 78 and 41. <clears throat> All right. This um, Psalm 78 and 40. It says, how oft did they provoke him in the wilderness and grieve him in the desert? Yea, they turned back and tempted the Most High and limited the Holy One of Israel. You see that? There's no limitations on the most high. It, nothing is impossible with Yahweh Bashan was shy. Okay? And in my personal belief, as well as other brothers that's in the spirit, we believe that the Lord is going to raise him up. And I'm speaking about the king, King David. Okay? Which in past times was Peter. Okay? So the Lord said, "Upon uh, told Peter, upon you will I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against thee. Okay? And King Masha was one of the pillars of this truth that we have today. Okay? He's one of the forerunners. All right? So you can't limit the power of the Lord by raising people from the dead. Hey, there's certain brothers that's out here right now through the spirit when all hell break loose. May raise people from the dead. Because Yahweh Shai said, Greater things shall ye do than I have done because I go unto my Father to prepare a place. Okay? So, certain things that Yahweh Shai did, He's going to give brothers the spirit to do greater things than that. As a testimony of the power of the Lord, man. That's why Yahweh Shai did the miracles. That's why He did, you know, the wonders and, 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 and did many signs. All right, to show the power of the Most High working through him. Well, he's going to actually give access to that power to brothers. That's of faith. The brothers that are of faith. Okay, are going to receive that power in like manner. Okay, because in our mind, we're not limiting the power of Yahweh by Shema Shai as others do. And when you limit the power of the Lord, you limit yourself. You limit your own potential. Okay, because nothing is impossible with the Lord, man. The Lord, as a matter of fact, let me get that in Isaiah 59. It's Isaiah 59 and 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Okay? See, the Lord is omnipotent, man, meaning all-powerful. He has the power to, to do anything. There's not one thing that the Lord can't do. He can do it all, including bring people out of the graves. See, people are, are, are conditioned and designed to think that death is, is the final call, man. Is the final answer. Okay? What a, but the Lord has power over the grave. Okay? And the Lord has always done miraculous things centered around King David, man. Okay? He jumped the wall and the, he was delivered uh, by a chariot. Okay? From his enemies. There's so many different miraculous, wonderful things that Yahweh by Shema Washah did, you know, uh, around King David. So how could you limit the power of the Lord and say that King Masha couldn't be King David because he's in the grave? Well, the Lord can raise him from the grave. Okay. Just like Yahweh was raised from the grave. Okay. So the Lord hand is not short and that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Okay, let's get some more precepts. I had put a couple of them in my notes. Uh, yeah, let's go to Luke 1 and 37. 
All right, the book of Luke, chapter 1 and 37. All right, it says, For with the Most High, nothing shall be impossible. And when it says nothing, it means nothing, man. So the, the powers of the Lord shouldn't be limited. Okay? Because all he going to do is just show you. Like, like the old school Jakes like to say, I could show you better than I can tell you. All right? Now, this is the this is the uh the Greek word. Strong's G one oh one I do not tell. I do not tell. Alright, so the word impossible it means not to have strength, power, or ability to become weak cannot be done to be impossible. So the Lord said nothing is with is impossible with the Lord. So nothing Okay, nothing is without power or, or, or nothing is without the ability with the Lord. The Lord has the, the ability and the capabilities to do everything. Okay? It's not impossible with him. The Lord is not weak. The Lord is strong. The Lord is all, almighty, all powerful, the Alpha and the Omega. Okay? And he's going to work a miraculous work on the right-hand side, which I've been saying for a long for, 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 uh, I always push that out here in the Atlanta camp. Okay? The Lord is going to start pushing out heavy vibrations concerning the right-hand side. Okay? Because you got Esau making a lot of moves on the left-hand side. Okay? Fulfilling biblical prophecy. But on the right-hand side, it's certain things that's going to go down too. On heavy levels. All right? Now let's get this in Numbers 11 and 23. And the Lord said unto Moses... Is the Lord's hand waxed short? Thou shalt not, thou shalt, Shalaki, thou shalt see now whether my word shall come to pass unto thee or not. So the Lord's hand is not, is not short or waxing short, man. Where well, he can't do these things. Okay. The Lord's hand is, 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 man, the Lord's, hey man, the Lord is on a whole nother level when it come down to, you know, power, man. OK, we can't even perceive it in these weak, feeble bodies, the amount of power that our, our, our creator has, man. All right. And we have access to that power. We have an access point to that source of power, which is Yahweh Shai. OK, and that access point that we have was raised from the grave. He was resurrected, man. OK. He was made that perfect sacrificial lamb. For the remission of sins. And then when he went back to the grave. He was resurrected. So you can't say that the Lord's. Uh, the Lord's uh, uh, hand is shortened man. That he can't pull people out of the graves. Well he's going to do that before the uh, the, uh, the the final destruction. The, 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 uh, the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first. Okay. So the Lord going to open up the graves. And the wicked. The Lord going to raise up the wicked also and be resurrected to the, to the damnation, which is the nuclear missile fire. So nobody can get away from the power of the Lord. This is his playbook, man. This is his design. This is his story, his play. And we're just in it. But we're here to fulfill the will of Yahweh Bashem Shai and righteousness, man. Okay. Final precept, Isaiah 50 and 2. Wherefore, when I came, was there no man? When I called, was there, Salaki. Wherefore, when I came, was there no man? When I called, was there none to answer? Is my hand shortened at all that it cannot redeem? Come on, man. A, see, people don't, how people look at the Lord, y'all look at the Lord in a Christian uh, perspective. Okay? You like to Christianize the Lord, man. The Lord is, 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 is a man of men. Okay? You can't put the Lord in a box or a bubble, man. Because your mind can't fathom, you know, his excellent power. That's just you that can't fathom it. It's not the Lord. Okay? Or have I no power to deliver? Behold, at my rebuke, I dry up the sea. So the Lord, just at the command of the Lord, okay, the seas will dry up. Just at the command of the Lord, the, the sea can withdraw itself. Which is why you have a seashore. 
Because the Lord appointed the water not to pass that boundary. Well, all of that water in the ocean, all of that water that's out there in the ocean. And you mean to tell me all that water is not coming and, and surpassing that boundary? That's because the Lord appointed it. He established those boundaries. And the water, though they toss themselves, will not yet uh, pass those boundaries. But you, you thinking that the Lord can't raise, raise men up from the grave? We come from the earth. We come from the, 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 uh, the soil, man. So the Lord can actually raise men up. Or have I no power to deliver? Behold, at my rebuke, I dry up the sea. I make the rivers of wilderness their fish stinketh, because there is no water and dieth for thirst. But the point that I wanted to get out of that scripture was, is the Lord's hand shortened at all, man? Absolutely not. And you're going to see how far the Lord's hand extends real soon on both sides, man. But the right hand side of Yahweh Bashanah is the power, is the most powerful side, man. Because it's a direct connection to the Father through the to the throne, man. So Lord willing, that was an edifying lesson. I want to give all praises once again to Yahweh Bashima Washai. Double honors once again to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, many blessings to the elect. Shalom.